good morning. My name is Betsy Ko, and um, welcome, welcome to um, one of our monthly Zooms for uh, new and newish members at Wikitree. Um, so this session is really um, driven by all of you who are attending. Um, sometimes we have a um, volunteer from among the audience who wants to um, let us look at their profiles graciously allows us to do that. Um, and we use that as a, a jumping point. Um, today, we don't have any volunteers. If anyone wants to spontaneously volunteer, Linda, okay, Linda has volunteered, great. And Paul, Paul, you've been before, am I right? I recognize. I was here once before, like maybe six months ago or eight months ago. You're a pilot, right? Yeah, you have a great memory. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome back. Okay. So Paul and Linda, fantastic. Um, do we have anyone who is a brand new, like say less than two months member of Wikitree? Linda. Okay. All right. Um, and so, you know, you can, you can ask questions by, you know, doing the zoom, raise your hand or, you know, physically or virtually and, uh, or put it in the chat. Um, a little bit about me. I, I've been on Wikitree for four years. I've been doing genealogy seriously since 2015. And um, Wikitree, I stumbled, like many people, just stumbled across it in a search looking for one of my ancestors. Um, and I found a research note on her profile, which really impressed me um, because it sort of expanded on um, an issue of uncertainty that I was grappling with myself. And I thought, wow, that's that's really cool that they take um, the, the effort to, you know, put a place for expanding on things like that. Um, and then I joined and slowly I, I got hooked and here I am. Now I now I'm deeply involved. I'm a member of the um, let's see the England, Wales, Canada, and Scotland projects. Um, we have ge many geographically based projects, and I'm also um, a member of the Mentors Project, um, which is one of our functional projects that, um, well as you can imagine, helps helps people get their get, get their way around Wikitree. Um, we have other projects like the greeters and the rangers and the connectors and the sorcerers. So there's so many areas on Wikitree where you can get involved. Um, so it's I, I encourage you to to jump in. Um, and I've got um, three extremely knowledgeable Wikitreers with me today. Um, so I'll let them introduce themselves. Um, Hillary from Wales. Yeah, I'm, I've been on Wikitree since 2011. I've, I'm uh, one of the Wikitree greeters. I'm also a, another mentor and I'm a project co coordinator for the England and Wales projects. I'm actually um, project coordinator for the Orphan Trail on the England project now. I've changed my role since I last did one of these. So, um, but, so I know I'm quite knowledgeable on the English research and um, much of the Welsh research is very similar, but um, I'm not quite such an expert as some are on the Welsh <laughs> research, mainly because I haven't done my own. But, uh, I'm quite happy to help if I can. Wonderful. Um, and Steve? Yep, I'm Stephen, and uh, I am a Germany specialist, I would like to say, because uh, of my big German background. Uh, about 90% of my ancestry is German, so I am a member of Germany Project. I work with members like Flo and some of my cousins. Um, and uh, I'm also in the Notables Project, so I am constantly contributing to profiles like that. You know, if a recent death occurs for a Notable, I'm usually on top of that, too. Um, and now with the World Project, I would be interested in starting the Tanzania Project because I have interest in that country. And I've been there, and, and it actually ties into my German research a little bit. Uh, so that's something that's around the corner, uh, pending that that gets approved. Uh, so, so I have you know a couple areas of interest, different one place studies and one name studies, uh, other little you know side projects. So um, yeah, generally I, I try to consider myself a well-rounded genealogist on WikiTree uh, since I started in 2020. You know, but I have my focuses too. Mm -hmm. 
And Murray, Murray is our expert in, in apps and DNA and many other things. Hi, I'm Murray Maloney. Um, I joined Wikitree in December of 2019, just before the pandemic started. So I had lots of time to learn Wikitree. Um, uh, as, as Betsy mentioned, uh, I work with the apps team. Uh, I do the documentation for the web browser extension and for Greg Clark's uh, fan chart and his new um, super big family tree that's coming up. Um, on genealogy, I concentrate um, mostly on the East Coast, um, Acadian, Quebec, and Maine. Um, and I've been doing some work with uh, with DNA. I just uh, did some work writing the uh, the Acadian DNA sources pages to explain to Acadians how to how to write DNA confirmations and, and do all that stuff. So they're, they're, um, they're doing a lot of that this week and last week. Um, and, uh, and I, and I come on here with Betsy every now and then and try and help out. Yeah. Wonderful. I feel really lucky to have three of you on with me this morning. It's great. I, I know between all of us, hopefully we can answer all the questions. Um, so if anyone feels at a certain point like we're we're in over your head and you need us to you know like do something more basic please please let us know um because um we want we want this to gear gear to be geared towards where you are um now murray mentioned something called the WikiTree browser extension which is an extension you can get um which really changes your whole experience of Wikitree. I know certainly in my first year and a half, I would say, of being on Wikitree, I heard about extensions and what game changers they were, and I wasn't ready for those yet. Um, and Wikitree browser extension is what we call a WBE. It's extremely powerful. Um, I have disabled it for this morning so that um, in case you are less experienced on Wikitree, um, what you'll be seeing on my screen is what you similar to what you see on your screen. Um, there is one browser extension called Sorcer that we will that we will use, and that's a little more focused and um, and extremely helpful. So um, the other thing, uh, my plan um, besides showing Paul, uh, looking at Paul and Linda's. Um, profiles is I do have a profile to create from scratch um, to link to on Thursday night I created I created somebody and uh, I'm going to um, add um, his his wife on if we're interested in that um, Paul WBE stands for WikiTree browser extension yeah and we we can apps there's Murray's putting a link into the help page in the chat. Um, we can absolutely look at that um, maybe a little towards the end of the hour. So, um, Paul, Linda, who wants to go? Um, I have a quick thing, I think, on, uh, and this one's on the Wiki website. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, my ancestor, my, my great grand my grandfather, on one of them anyway. Um, the ID number is... Uh, if, do you need the name or just the number? Uh, yeah, I need the name. Yeah. Okay, sure. Barry, B E R R Y. Mm -hmm. And then the number is 25325. 25325. Two, five. Okay. Um, let me share my screen and we'll pull it up. Um, okay. Who do you guys. Oh, that's not ready. No, is that not the profile? No. <laughs> oh well, no, no. I haven't pulled up your. your this is uh, this is the gentleman that we created. On, oh, okay. <laughs> I just so, had I just had to get to. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Two five, three two five. Yes. And by the way, so you know, I have this profile ID number. Um, and if you have that, you can just plug that in here, and it will take you. Should take you. Hmm. I thought that was searching only the watch list. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it into that top field. Oh, I'm so I'm so sorry. Yeah, fact, I haven't had enough coffee yet. It's okay, They're up here. <laughs> Seriously, we're here for two five three two five. 
Okay, yeah. that would search my own personal watch list. And okay, is is that your guy? Yes, yes. Okay. So you'll see down where I've entered all the, his brothers and sisters, and it's saying half, and they're not half. Okay. And when I go in, it looks like I've put the same mother and father, but okay. I don't know what I did there. Okay. Um, so let's look. Let's look at the parents. Uh, okay. Well, so. He was the husband. So they are all the children of Emily May. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's look at her and let's see what would be the difference between say Reginald and Amelia, because they're showing up as half. So, Oh, beautiful picture. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Did we click on the right one? Uh, Cause that's the wife. Should we click on the mother? Is that, wait a minute. Because that's, that's what creates the, the halves, one. correct? Right. So it's Amelia. Oh, that's that's a, the, yeah, um... no, we want the mother. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. So we are, the question is, what's the difference between um, Reginald and Amelia, the daughter? Yeah, let's have both of them pulled up so we can compare. Well, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> there's there's, there's okay, two so... Amelia chart chart berries. Yes, yeah, yeah, so... one's the daughter and one's the mom. Right. Right, but they have, do they have different? So this is the daughter. Track or this is the mother. This is the mother. Yeah, I don't have her father and mother. And, and I see that she doesn't have a father linked to her. No, this is the mom, right? Yes, this is, this is. Um, oh, the mother of Reginald, right. Mother of Reginald. There, there are oh, two so of her. That could be okay. it. And so then if I charged. go back to. Reginald. Chartra 39 and Chartra 38 are the same person. They need to get merged. That's why it's doing it. Because there's a, a mother and a daughter with both Amelia. Now, if I go to Amelia, she should no. Here's the daughter. And she so the mother is Chartra 39, and the daughter is Barry 25327. Let's go ahead and click on Thomas Alexander and see if he's got two wives that are the same person. Thomas Alexander. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and click on. Yep. Um, okay. So it's only linking to the oh. one. Now, is that the one that has the other children or is that the one that only has Reginald as a child? Just in case there's multiple Amelia's here that are connecting in. Cause that, that would produce our uh, half situation if that's the case. I don't know no, uh, Chartres 38 does not have a husband. Um, sorry. Wait, what? So let's click on this Amelia and see if that's the same one we've just looked at. Because if that's a different Amelia, then it's going to have different children. Okay. Uh, we just looked at, here's Amelia, the mother. Right. right. And that one, ah, so that's the, that's the duplicate. That one has all of those children. The other one only had uh, him, uh, the first person we were looking at as, Reginald. you know, Reginald. He has not one of the children here. That's why they're all coming up as halves. So if we oh. merge these two Amelia's together, the halves will go away. Okay, so let, yeah, thirty-eight and thirty-nine. Okay, so yeah. so the this Amelia, the mom, born January thirteenth, eighteen thirty-seven, and then if I just go up here, and I look at nine, yeah, you have a duplicate. Oh, okay. And there's the Reginald connection. So we and, just need to merge. And how can together. you tell that? How do you see that? I never would have found that. I well, I'm just I'm that. just comparing. <laughs> The names and the birth birthday is precisely the same. Three years of looking at this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I is probably. But yeah, the birth dates and death dates are the same. The information's the same. It's the same person. Uh, mm -hmm. So this was created on December fourth. The other one was pre-existing. Um, mm -hmm. And Linda, but not too not too long. Yeah, Linda, your uh, your profile oh, same day. of of both of them. So that'll be easy to merge. I have um, a question before you merge them. Sure. Yeah. Can I s see this in a tree version? And in, in a tree version, wouldn't there be two people that you could obviously see? Uh, let's see. Mm. The descendants chart. The descendants chart. No, I probably yeah. should look from her. I should look from maybe Reginald. Again, Reginald's only going to attach to one. Because oh, yeah. he, they share the father. The father's the shared connection here. Mm -hmm. But the the mothers are different for the different children. 
if you go to a descendant chart for Thomas Alexander Berry, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he is the father. Okay. Descendants. So. One of these is not connected. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Something funny is happening here. Yeah, you can't tell, can you? We should just go ahead and merge them and then see is, what happens. <laughs> is Thomas Andrew Barry listed at the top and the bottom of this photograph? Oh, no. Scroll up a little more. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm lost again. Yeah, it says he married Amelia Chartres. Is the father of nine children. So this is the tree of Thomas and Alexander Barry, correct? Mm -hmm. He's and if, you scroll, and if you scroll to the very bottom, is he listed yeah. again? Well, this is just his profile. Uh, okay, okay. So no, when you click on ancestors or descendants, it expands on the profile view. Um, and, so and who do we think was disconnected or not put into this tree, right? I mean, uh, it's two Amelia's. Reginald, so the, the, the mother, Paul. So, Paul, what 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 we did is we we looked and saw that there were a bunch of half siblings. Yes, so which is a big red flag. The, I... uh, red, 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 red flag. So, okay. So now we look at well, who are the parents on each of these? Let's see if there's a if there's an issue. Well, it looked like the same names on every one of them, right? The same mother and same father. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But then when we took a closer look at at the mother, we discovered that in one case the mother was. The mother had a bunch of children, and then in the other case, the mother had only one child, which would make sense. And, and so then we looked half. at the then we looked at the ID numbers of the two of them, and mm -hmm. saw that there was a difference. And so we think okay, there's two so the, mothers named Amelia. Yeah, then there are, and so if we merge them, yeah. then they become the same person, which is who they actually are, and and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> so yeah, we are on her. Version version one, where she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight children. And then that's Ch Chartres uh, 38. And if I just go to Chartres 39, I've got the same birth and death dates and one child. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, it's it's a merge that needs to be done. Um and as I said, it's more straightforward because Linda is the manager of both profiles. And we would and want to merge 39 into 38 because the 38 okay. is the first number and it has the most information. Mm -hmm. So we can do that and right Betsy, now. And Betsy, I've just noticed that your profile preview is disabled. Um, well, I have the browser extension off. Yeah, no, but I mean the WikiTree pr profile preview. What do you mean by that? There, there's an option in, well, well, we'll get to it later. We'll come back to it. Okay. Because I turned WikiTree browser extension completely off. Yes. Okay. Um, so if, I, if I wasn't the author of both of them, would it not be possible to merge them? Oh, no, no. It would just, I mean, you would need to um, contact the other profile manager. Okay. And and say, you know, I, I propose a merge because, look, the birth dates and the death dates are the same. And okay. um, and then um, it, presumably the other person would agree um, and it would just go ahead. Sometimes there are orphan profiles where there's no other profile manager. And uh, that also makes it relatively simple to do a merge. If you think hey, before we merge, can we take a look at the husband again? Because if, if we look at the husband, wouldn't he have married two different wives? Yeah, I didn't see that. No, that the marriage weird. isn't there. There is no marriage. He didn't connect the marriage. So where they connected the, the children without the marriage? Maybe Wait, that's what happened. I should be looking at Thomas. Yeah. So Thomas, Thomas is married, but just to, well, to, okay. Maybe Reginald is just attached to his his um, mother and his father separately, but is but they. For some reason, I don't know. I One, see. So yeah, no father well, was listed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No father is listed um, for Red Reginald. Is that right? Mm -hmm. There's Thomas. Here's Reginald. Mm -hmm. No, he's got a father. Yeah. 
This one's kind of goofy. I don't know well, what then, happened. So Is that too? maybe there's another duplicate of Thomas Alexander Barry. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. So oh, here's, here's something that we could do. <laughs> that it was just my tip of the week a couple of weeks ago. Um, is let's see you go to i can't do this though because i'm i don't think i can do it for you linda are you comfortable comfortable screen sharing on zoom oh, yes but i don't know what i'm doing okay all right so let me let me make you a co-host so you can screen share so you could request it and then on her end she could hit the approval button so you can go through the process of showing how, why they need to get merged because they'll do the side by side. And then she just has to hit the confirmation on her. Right. Own. Right. Absolutely. But we wanted to check and see if there were other duplicates lurking out there. Okay. Which do from the watch list. Yeah. So, okay. I just made you co-host Linda. So two okay. Thomas Alexander Berries potentially. So, so yeah. Can you see my Green with Not, Not, Not yet. Am I supposed to do something? Um, well, at the bottom, you, it says share screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. And then. I guess this one. Mm -hmm. Hey. Great. Okay. All right. Okay. So now, um, let's see. Um, can you go to your own profile? Or, or no, go under my wiki tree at the top yeah. and you'll get a pull down menu. Yeah. Um, are you doing it? Yeah, but yep. which one? Okay. I now, okay. now click on watch list at the very bottom. There we go. Great. Okay. And now, whoops, whoops, go back up. Okay. Um, now, um, find matches um, towards the top. You've got those. Of the name on the watch list? That, come down, come down. Oops. Oops. Okay, you see you have activity, anniversaries, find matches. Oh, yes, yep. okay. Yep. Okay, and we can we can go ahead and click find possible matches. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So this is this is going to cast a pretty wide net. I mean, some of them you'll be you'll see like, oh, the name is spelled differently or the location's completely wrong. But in a sense, casting a wide net in is is valuable. Now, who were we looking for again? Uh, Reginald Alexander Berry. Yeah. Okay. So who are we looking for? His mother. But Thomas Alexander as well. Thomas Alexander. Yeah. So do so, I just scroll down? Yeah, just scroll down. I mean, I think they're listed. Okay, now, whoops. Mm -hmm. Possible message for Thomas Alexander Barry. No, different. That doesn't down? seem to be an issue. Yeah, okay. Those are different people, different spellings, yeah. Okay. But okay, there's but now, the Millage Chartres to match. Yes, you see, there's our 38 and 39. Oh, so do I click on this one? No, no, I mean, we knew this already. We had just. Oh, but okay. there's the compare button, so we can do the merge from here, right? Sure. So yeah, we you do it. Do it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Now we can start the merge. Right. Just go ahead and merge. Yep. Uh, Well, hold on. One way round. I was going to say that the direction of the merge is important in this case. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it already, I think it, it fixed We've got that. 30, we should be going into 38, not 39. Oh, yeah. So, oh, so okay. ID two should be 38, 39 should be merged into it. Cause this is the final ID on the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, and okay. also 38 has more information than 39 does anyway. So we're moving Reginald over basically. Okay. Uh, let's do a compare. Let's just make sure we're comparing everything here. So you can see them both side by side now. The data okay. should be identical. If there's any inconsistencies, it'll ask you. Um, we can see that you know, one of them is not married to Thomas, and the other one is. Mm -hmm. So the more complete one already has the Thomas connection. The one where it's just a mother-to-son relationship is going to get merged into the more complete one. You're, but to be clear, you're not going to lose any information. 
Yeah. No, so like that 1841 census data, like that could be carried over to the other one on the right. But it well, appears I mean, that I, it... I can go back and put that stuff in anyway, but... Yeah. Um, so now where do I go? Do I just... So go towards the bottom of the screen. Uh, if it continues to allow you to go to the bottom, it should. <clears throat> oh, something about... That might be an internal screen. Um, is that the bottom? Uh, the problem is there's two side-by-side -side columns. Um, I think uh, Linda had oh, okay. it. Had Sorry. Emerge. Okay, so go back up to the top of the screen for total. Um, initiate a merge here? Uh, no. Why don't you just go back with your browser? Yeah, go, go back one step, since we already know they're the same profile. So now we can hit the word merge. And then you can go and actually compare the data. So if there's anything that needs to get moved over, you can click on these uh, little buttons to move that information over. For, for the right now, it looks like everything else is the same. Uh, the text is done. Don't, don't do it yet. <laughs> this is important because the text is what's actually going to change a little bit. We have that extra 1841 census that we'll want to keep record of, even though it's not a proper citation. So that you can actually enter that into the new biography that's being merged in here. Uh, but let me, can you go back up to the top a little bit just to see what it says? So, um, okay, so underneath spouse, um, so back down a little bit. Oh, down, okay, okay. spouse. Uh, a little bit down. Okay, so you see text from charters okay. 38 and text from 39. Okay, so if you oh, click no, on no, both no. of them, it won't let me. I can only do New one text. Or the other. Please see edit below. Um, do not click this in the last. <laughs> there, it was giving me some kind of warning there when you floated over it. Um, do not click I mean, this after you have edited. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> um, but but if we know what it was, like we can simply enter it into the text. You know, so we know it was yeah, 1841 yeah. census. Uh, so you, you can type it into the text and then you can preview it and then confirm the merge to make sure that you have everything you need. Because it's mentioned in 1851. So, you know, if you want to throw this into the um, the sources section, just type in like 1841 and then, you know, you'll, you'll need to do research on it, obviously. Um, you know that what? way you don't I, lose any. I'm oh. just learning how to use the sourcer thing. And I'm more than happy to go back and put it in using the sourcer. But for well, now... Okay. Okay, yeah. so you don't want to do it right yeah. now, then? No, okay, because I'm it sorry. seems like it's going to be complicated. No, it's fine. But... All right, understood. So go ahead and confirm the merge, then. This will take a moment. Uh, merge has been completed. Uh, go ahead and click on Amelia Charter Varies Profile now on that top tab. To your left to go down. That yeah. works, too. Uh, now she should have all the children connected. There's Reginald. There's Thomas Alexander as the father. Go ahead and click on Reginald now. Oh, and now yes. they're not Yay. half siblings. Thank you. Here we go. Thank you. you guys are lifesavers. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bugger, especially considering, you know, when you have to look at both profiles, see what's up with them. But this is a classic example of, you know, why we merge and why we want to get that data to be, you know, consistent between uh, those two yeah. sources. So, Great. Yeah. Well, thank you. Hey. Okay. Uh, shall we um, move over to Paul and then L Linda, we can come back if we have time. Yeah, some? no, I'm good. I'm good. I just have some other general questions, but I'm happy to go to Paul's. We first. can we can add, we can finish with Linda's. I'm okay. learning right. so much. I don't have a specific question. I'm just okay. So we can continue with Linda's. Yeah. Well, I I just one of my questions is: Is there a way? Uh, this doesn't pertain to Reginald Alexander, but is there a way to? put divorced in is there somewhere that i haven't found that like mm -hmm. you have a marriage and then they're divorced and yeah so um go under edit just uh, we're not going to edit but it's sure. easy to show you okay <clears throat> and if we look on the uh the keep going down um to his marriage spouse number one okay so what you would want to do is edit go down again so uh -huh. now well, edit I'm looking marriage. on the right here. Yep. Uh, okay. edit marriage to Emily. Okay. And so you would be able to put an end date to the marriage. What if I don't have the date though? Uh 
you, you could put in what you, I mean, you probably have an approximate date, right? Not necessarily. Like if it's great, great ancestors that I have no idea when they got divorced, I just know they did. Well, okay. So if you had even an approximate date, you could put it in even a year here and say uncertain or approximate and, uh, and uh, you could, uh, well, the the uh, the rash reason the explanation could be a variety of things. You may or may not have a record. It just could be family information. Right. Um, I have a question about that though. Yeah. So is the death of a uh, spouse uh, reasonable to use as a marriage end date? Yes. I do. Yeah. So did they get divorced, or or was it because someone passed away? Divorce. Okay, so then if they actually get divorced, but you don't have a source for it, then you would just estimate okay. until you get more information. And so I've got a question. Yep. So w what if we just clicked uncertain approximate and didn't put anything in there? It, it Wouldn't that tell Wikitree this marriage did end? We just don't know when. Hmm, never done that before. You could. Yeah, me neither. I just, I just wondered. Let's try you know, it. I, think, I, I don't know how carefully people read the bios Great. it would be such a small thing um, for me my preference would probably be to put in a research note or incorporate it in the bio that at some point um the the couple divorced uh we're not sure when um and state why you why you think that or know that so let's break wiki tree let's see if it works do you want me to do it do it why couldn't you just put the marriage date in and say after this date? Oh, that's clever. Go ahead and click the button and yeah, uh, let's see if it gives us an error. It worked. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So where do I see that it ended then here? Uh, under. Husband of. Oh, do I go down of, where it's uh, under? No. No, sorry. But it doesn't display because there is no data to display. Right, so even though right. you click the button, it doesn't have a data point to associate with it. So now it, it still won't say it. But if somebody goes into the metadata and actually tries to edit it, they'll see that somebody was said it was uncertain. Okay. See that? That's another that? step. How do I fix that now? <laughs> oh, you can go back to edit. In here? Like where you... uh, Well, go back to the top. Yep, edit. And just unclick what you did. Um, oh, you got to edit the marriage on the right hand side. No, actually, but I don't yeah. know if you can unclick a button once it's been clicked. It might look for another selection. Edit. Hmm. It doesn't unclick once you click it. No. So well, kind of lock in. But, I think hmm. I think it's okay because it's not showing up. Right, it's not displaying anything because there's no data point to display. Right. Right. Should I put an explanation uh, there was no divorce? <laughs> well, you don't, you don't have to do that. I mean, you've already saved it. It's just an yeah. extra edit that doesn't do anything. I, so you're I fine. Would, I would really um, encourage putting something in the bio because people are going to look at the bio um, yeah. or, or make a research note. So you can back out of this page. We can just edit the text of the bio itself. Go back to Reginald or Emily? Uh, no, just go ahead and click the back button. Or is that a new window that opened up? A new yeah, tab? it's a new window. Yeah, just close the tab. Uh, so now we're on the edit Reginald. of the correct profile. Yeah, he was married okay. to uh, Emily. Right. So Emily, uh, that, that data can be put into the bio below. So the bio should be down there. Uh, there it is, edit text. Okay. Uh, we can put that in between his born in 1877 and passed away information because that's yeah. automatically generated by WikiTree whenever you create a profile, but you can right. always change it and, and make it better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just right. type away. What am, I, what am I putting in here? Just um, they were married till they died. And at some point <laughs> they divorced. <laughs> yeah, but they yeah. didn't. Yeah. Oh, they didn't. They didn't. No, we were just experimenting. Oh, what? <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> I, I, thought thought just, I, thought we could, I thought we could undo it. And I, so I thought we were just. Oh, no. <laughs> I've I let them down the him? path of undoing. <laughs> 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 Should I take uh, Reginald right out of here and redo him? No, no, no. 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 
No, no. But we, we can always make changes. We can always change anything. And nothing mm -hmm. is set in stone. It's just those buttons don't really unclick. That's the only problem, is once you click okay. those buttons. Ah, okay, so but you can just click another button. Go back <laughs> into edit the marriage? I, I mean, we... We are uncertain about something. We're, we're, we don't have a data point. When you actually get the data point figured out, then you can hit certain. Like, that's when you make the change. Right. So you, you can keep that whatever. It, it doesn't actually affect anything by having uncertain collect. Because we don't so really have a date right now. Well, because they're not divorced. They didn't right. divorce. Exactly. Exactly. Right. We I mean, just what, what I sometimes do, uh, yeah. let's see, we're on Reginald's profile, right? Yeah. Who died first, Emily or Reginald? But that is my fault for uh, committing to it. Uh, right. Uh, I think Emily died first, I think, 19th September, yes. Yeah. So, ago. I mean, you could say that the marriage ended on her death date. Um, I do mm. that. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay, I mean, that, that is a legitimate thing to do, too. Okay. Ah, problem solved. Okay. Ooh. But and don't hit it yet. Oh. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's approximate. It's approximate? No. It's approximate? It says about. So, I mean, you can go back in and edit it again. This time you can select yes. exact, and then it will take that word about out. Oh, I see. Okay. So, you want to go up to edit? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I so, we'll just like do it that. one more time. It's, it's fine. You get three free edits out of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like Boris Gump here. So That's now okay. It's certain. All right. Now we know for certain she died on this uh, September 19th, 1944. They're not married anymore because she's dead, right? And you could just say if you want death of death of Emily. Yeah. So there's your change explanation or your edit summary. Uh, death of spouse or yeah. Okay. There you go. And then say now we can later. say the marriage changes and yeah, go ahead and do that. Now it will actually say to 19 September 1944. And that's at least in the data section. Uh, if you wanted to still add it to the biography to make it sound a little bit more, you know, flowy, you know, readable, that's that's what I usually do is increase the biography information. Um, okay. But yeah, there, there you go. There's the basic change to the marriage. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Sorry, it took a couple of steps to get to it. That's all right. So, and one more quick question, and then yeah. I'm I'm done. Um, uh, on on these things, someplace it says, uh, "Oh, it's been accessed thirty four times." Is that all me, or is there other people? It it could be. I mean, you can't really tell. Um, no, but they count me every time I go. Yeah, in? they do. They do. Um, okay. Go up under changes. You know, go across. Yep, there you go. And that shows you. I mean, if you've done if you've done thirty four edits or whatever right. it was, that no, it looks like other people. The That's Betsy has been here, and other people may have visited it. I mean, it's been, it's been a week since it's uh, been created. So however many times you visited it, it's just adding that up. You said there was a Betsy? Where do you see that? No, Betsy's no. the host. Just just now, like oh, 20 oh. minutes ago, <laughs> I, I, I visited the profile. So I would have, right. that would have counted. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, that's it for me for now. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for your uh, understanding. Let me, let me, I just want to check in with Julianne before we go to Paul, because Julianne, you said that you were a brand new uh, member. Are we, have we lost you? Do you have questions? How can we help? Is Julianne still with us? I am here. Sorry, I was, I had to get back to my mic. Um, <laughs> can you hear me okay? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay, great. Um, no, it's it's interesting to see um, what is possible on here. I was just making a, a profile. I I'm, I think I might have made a profile like a month ago, but I can't remember. Is it a problem if I have two profiles? You don't want more than one profile for us for the same person. Okay, yeah. that's what I was just wondering. Okay. So um, I'll just go in and I want to change my email address that I have it attached to. So mm -hmm. I have to figure out which one I used. Yeah. <laughs> Is that more oh. of a WikiTree team thing then if she has two profiles as a contributor? Um, Julian, do you mean two profiles for yourself or two profiles for one of your family members? 
Well, I actually didn't make a second one. I was just thinking of making one and then, um, but then I asked you, so I didn't make it. Yeah, the only yeah. situation in which an active member would have more than one profile is if they're an adoptee. Um, and then oh. Wikipedia does allow you to have two profiles, your biological and your adopted profile. Oh, that's neat. Yep. But you you have to pick one as your primary, you know, it's so okay. you have, to have one email address registered with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Special cases. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Well, actually I actually is an example of one. Okay. <laughs> um yeah, no, it's helpful seeing the different functions that are possible. And and my understanding is <laughs> basically it's one family tree for the whole world. Is that right? Correct. Okay. So it's not really, not really correct to talk about, well, my tree, my, you you could more say my branches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Global tree. Got it. The 36 million person world tree that we all interconnect into. Yeah, that's neat. Um, One question I have is, Like, I've been doing stuff with Ancestry, but I would like to stop having to pay for it. (laughs) Um, And and I understand there's, like, other reasons to not put your stuff on Ancestry necessarily. Um, But so what do you guys recommend? Like, where do you keep your stuff? I mean, on Wikitree only, or do you also have, like, a desktop uh, program? Well, um, I, I, I think it's that's a very um, individual subjective question. Um, speaking for myself, I, I do still maintain an ancestry subscription. I sort of like many of us, I hop on and hop off when yeah. I get a deal. Um, right. Because because it does have some records that family search does not have. OK. Um, and um, it, it allows me, as you've seen already, before you create a profile on Wikitree, you have to do a little homework. You know, you have to at least know the the correct name and birth date in place, death date in place. Oh, okay. And so okay. sometimes when I'm doing a project, um, I I do a uh, what I call a quick and dirty tree on Ancestry um, because okay. I know I move, I'm vetting things, but the way that that program is configured allows me to just add like, Boom. Yes. Siblings. So. Right. And in my pers- Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying it's fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was going to add, I'm oh, sorry, you want to go ahead, Marley? Uh, you're muted, by the way. I just, that, that actually just leads me to a question because there's, you know, there's, um, I actually started on Family Tree Maker when it was just a desktop before there was stuff. And I had, you know, like lots of stuff in there. And so I've got the GEDCOM and, and that's, what I was impressed um, by Wikitree is that it it wouldn't let me just dump stuff in there. <laughs> I thought, well, yeah. gee, okay, I get it. I have to keep comparing, and I am finding that there's already a lot of stuff out there. But um, I had played with Genie when I was deciding which way to go because I didn't want to pay Ancestry. There was mm-hmm. a time way back with a free version that I had dumped my stuff from Family Tree Maker into Ancestry. And only Wikitree, to my knowledge, is actually trying to keep the data clean, saying you're going to have to compare these records one by one and, you know, and only let them in if you know they're good. OK, I say that as background because then it seems as though I often see citations to Ancestry and I feel like, well, why is that a good citation if Ancestry doesn't really <laughs> You right. can have citations to Ancestry to the actual records, to the actual images of the parish records or whatever other record it is. I see. So that seems to reference. be reasonable. You know, that's what I use. I mean, gotcha. I, I will put a, an Ancestry source because it's got that image there. Even if I've yeah. got something from, say, Family Search um, or, or or I've got I've got a copy of the record myself, I still will put in. If, if I've got something with an image on, I would probably put that in to my own profiles. Yeah, that makes sense because it's sort of like Ancestry seems to have the lock on certain records that you can't get to certain, um, at least I've run into a little bit. And, and I, I know that we can go to like some of the, the libraries that will have access to it. But yeah. 
Um, um, it's it's sometimes like a ship ship records, uh, you know, for uh, immigrants yep. uh, manifests. Mm-hmm. Then I'll find that ancestry has it, and of course, I can't get to it. Well, okay. so let me let me just show on the profile that I created on um, Thursday night. Um, and I actually, if you are with me on Thursday, um, I, I, I spent a little time after we adjourned and just um, did a mass import um, from family search. I had earlier that morning, I had vetted all of those sources on family source. And there is a way that's beyond the scope of today's discussion. There's a way to just bring them all over, um, which is what I did. Um, And they're formatted this way, but you can see that for his death record, uh, that was not on family search. And the death record had some very key pieces of information, his mother's maiden name, that I just, I wanted to be sure to document. So I did hear this, uh, this citation that gives an ancestry sharing link. I don't know if I click on this, Tell me if you see this. It's working. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. So this is, is. What, this is what Sorcerer will, will do for you for an ancestry record. Um, and so <laughs> here's a hack. Um, if you don't have an ancestry subscription, you can take a screenshot of this, and then that will allow you to blow it up. Because if I just if I just try and blow it up this way, it gets it gets fuzzy but not if you not if you take a screenshot you've done that intentionally yes yes. yep yep it is so So if you take a screenshot are you allowed to bring it over as a photo into this record on wiki or is that illegal uh, if you're using sorcerer it will um bring it bring in the link for you no but it was the image oh for the image yeah, yeah. I've, I've I've added some. T- I've added a, a a thing from Ancestry today. Is and... this a copywritten item? Basically, can mm. Ancestry say, "Oh, it's ours," when really it's public record? Mm. And that's the thing, right? They have their contract law that's trying to override the copyright law in certain situations. So, I mean, I don't tend to mess with it. But at the same time, there's lots of things that they claim are uh, theirs only when they really don't have access to them. Like, like exclusive it's access not, to them, right? It's not. It's not that they they own the record. They they obviously obviously don't. But right. they have uh, they have gone to the effort of putting together an index of all these records and and putting it into a catalog. And right. so mm-hmm. they deserve credit for that. Okay, that's the first thing. Uh, second thing in, t- in terms of copyright law. Um, well, I, I I don't know in terms of copyright law. What I do know is in terms of Chris Witten law. You know, Chris. Mm-hmm. Chris prefers that we not copy images right. of sources from other sites and bring them over to, to WikiTree. He prefers that we have links to them. Who's Chris Witten? Uh, Chris Witten is Mr. WikiTree. He the founder of WikiTree. WikiTree. Yeah. Fifteen years ago he founded WikiTree. Yep. Mm. But but here's Sorry. the thing. Um, <laughs> supposing uh, I can't remember who. Uh, supposing you um, were looking at my profile and uh, or the, the profile I had created, and you saw the source with the uh, from Ancestry. You don't have Ancestry. Well, they they could just copy my source citation, right? From my profile over to to another profile that was. That would be legal, right? Yeah, you could yes, do. It if it, yeah, but it, but presuming that you've got a source citation on your on a particular profile, presumably mm. that source citation it, for most things is only going to be relevant to that that particular person, unless you're doing a census or something, and then it's only going to be that family or whatever. So it's not going to be relevant. It, that image is only going to be relevant for a certain number of people. Of course, of course, but. Mm. If, if, I mean, it's a specific situation, but if it yeah, did, yeah. Hold up, then that this is a whole nother conversation. Like I am not well-versed enough in this, but uh, mm-hmm. I certainly so, don't mess with it when I don't have to. <laughs> no. <laughs> so the important th- thing to me is that um, we've identified an event in someone's life. We've identified that there is a record about that event. Mm-hmm. And we want to, we want to put that information into the profile. Now, we don't have the actual source. We don't have the actual document. And, and if we did, 
it would be kind of useless to us because we don't have any provenance for it, right? So actually being able to cite a source like, like FamilySearch or Ancestry gives us more credibility because they've indexed it, right? Okay. So there, there's some provenance behind it. So the point is, though, that we, we want to just get to the, the profile so that we can prove that there was an event, that it is recorded. And the fact that we don't have the original source, well, that's too bad. But we've got this fact. And the fact is really the important thing, right? And, and yes, it would be nice if we had all the original sources and we could trot them out. But, you know, let's, let's be realistic. We can't always do that. But w what we can do is we can document the facts. Yeah. And, and just in case anyone's unfamiliar with the term provenance, it just means where something came from. So um, if you dig a little mm -hmm. deeper on Ancestry when you're looking at a record, you're going to see like, oh, that's held at the National Archives in London. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see where the actual document is that yeah. they... So it's traceable. Someone could follow mm -hmm. the breadcrumbs to its original location if they wanted to confirm that data. That's what we're doing is creating a breadcrumb trail. Yeah. Cause you know, you might have, you might have an image of a, of um, a marriage or a baptism, let's say from a register in a church. And, but you're telling us that that image is from a register in a church. We don't know that. Mm -hmm. We, we want to have some way to trace it back to that register. Right. right. Mm -hmm. That's where the sharing really? comes in. That's, that's where all those links mm -hmm. come in. Yep. So I, I was just wondering then with um, citing census data that sometimes I just actually put like, you know, 1890 census, Denver, Colorado, or, or it was Arapahoe County or whatever. I, I'm, I'm just kind of making something up as opposed to saying that I found a copy of that, you know, again, at a library, I can get into ancestry and then I can find that census page. And then I can say, oh, well, isn't that's a clean citation to just cite the census, isn't it, without well, having... Well, um, I, I would say um, fa I, family search is preferred because mm -hmm. that's a free, uh, free access for anyone, you know, just free membership. And the censuses, just to use your example, are pretty well covered. And is, um, is everybody familiar with the fact that when you're looking at a record on family search, there is a neat little button that the citation is created for you. And all you have to do is copy the citation. Would anyone like to see that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Linda's ancestor, um, Barry. Was it? Yeah. Barry. Yeah. All right. Reginald, because which was the one where that you were missing the 1841 census. Is it, it was this Amelia. One? Reginald, it was Reginald. The, the youngest child was on the 1841 census. Okay. So here, let's let's um, put Sorcerer into action. So you can see on my screen, I have um, at the top, I have this little one. Do you see it? He can't, no, it can't be him because he was born till 1877. Oh, so Amelia had the 1841 that, Amelia. that we were going to add. Yeah, I, I thought it was Amelia. Mm -hmm. I think it was Amelia. 51. We merged. Yeah. We merged 51, Amelia. but not 41. Okay. This, this is the one that needs the 1841. Yep. yep. Okay. So anyway, I this, this little one shows you that I have the Sorcerer app. I'm going to click on it, and it brings up a whole... Do you see the source, the, the pull-down menu? Yes, yes, no. Yes, good. Okay, I'm going to search family search. It's going to pull over all the the name, date, place data that you've already entered into WikiTree. And it'll show me what's available. Let's see. The lady in the top probably was the right one. It just wasn't the right census. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The Sour B Bridge matches. Yep, the, the, the names match. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, it might be attached to her, here, mightn't it? Yeah, I'm going to see if she has a, she does have a family search profile. Oh, I she was a brewer. She has 29 sources. Okay, so, wow. She, didn't she hasn't got it on there. Where's the 1841? Because it's not there. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Well, there might have been some sort of mix up with spelling or... 
I mean, she would have been four, so should she be would have there. existed in it, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, all right. Just to finish my point, let's go to to 1851 and go to the web page. Now, let's going to pull something like this up, and on the left hand side, it will say "Cite this record." All you do is copy, it says copied citation to clipboard, and then you can go back over to Wikitree and just when in edit mode, paste that into your profile. And what's curious about this one is that not only is it linking to family search, it's linking to find my past, which apparently is the original location of the data on the National Archives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's badly, if it's badly indexed at find my past, it, it will quite often be badly indexed on family search because they use their subscription, their um, transcriptions mm. but this is showing me um this this you know full out citation is telling me if i want to go to the national archives of the united kingdom at kew i could do that and i could i could look at the original record take a field trip <laughs> <laughs> I, i've been it was fun mm. so How i have a are question you from oh never mind go ahead <laughs> Uh, I have a question about Sourcer. Um, is that part of the Wikitree browser extension or is it a separate app? It's, it's a separate, separate extension. Yeah. Um, and Murray had put the help page for Sourcer in the chat earlier. Um, if, yeah. Yeah, underneath the browser extension, there's a Sourcer. And, it might be uh, in the chat. It's uh, it's at ten past four <laughs> on my time, so ten past the hour. Okay, I see it. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, Betsy, where... can we do something for uh, yes. before we wrap up? Okay, Murray, you're um, yes, but I didn't hear half of what you said. <laughs> Getting rid of my earbuds. Okay, now I'm now I'm catching everything. You could uh, go on any profile at all. Okay, any profile. Yeah, let me write down one thing that I need to make a note of. Okay, great. Any profile at all. So let me go back where I was, and I'm gonna go to. Okay, my friend Henry. All right, so now um, just hover over Elizabeth Schnubble Schaffer there, that link. Mm hmm Yep. Yep. And see that See that little pop-up? Yep. All right, so that's that's if you don't have Wikitree profile preview enabled. Okay. So, yes. so go, go back up to the top. Uh-huh. And open my Wikitree. Mm-hmm. And go down to your settings. Okay. Yep. And see see where it says profile previews and it says disable profile previews? Oh, why did I do that? Well, okay. you you know what? Um for some reason hmm. and, and no uh, and nobody's publicly said why it happens, but periodically that'll just toggle on. Yeah, and you know the weird thing is I've seen it before, the profile previews, and I guess I just didn't really notice that it, I wasn't seeing them. Right. Yeah. So Can we now, see what it looks like now. Yeah, let's, yep. let's show them what it looks like. Okay. Which should have an image, which should have the data, basic data okay. of the person. Right. Mine's still activated. Okay, now back to Henry. Hover over Elizabeth and Magic. Now, oh. Yes. Thank nice. you, Henry. Now show them what you can do with this, that you can hover over Henry Seymour Schnubble, for example. Uh-huh. Well that's yeah. And, and, and so you can, you, can, you can browse around and you can look to see who's connected to who. And it makes it easier to, to, to yeah. see adjacent uh, profiles. Right, right. Nice. And on the bottom, what does the turn off temporary mean in the bottom right hand corner? What? That's quite useful because it means that if you're, well, I find I use, use it when I'm greeting. 
if I'm yeah, going through a whole list of people and I'm 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 putting comments on things, you can turn it off so that you don't it, so it does so that pop up doesn't come on all the time. Um, well, that's how it, people are clicking the button. They're hitting turn off reviews through that. Uh, it could be yeah. Instead of turn that's off temporarily, getting, yeah, they could be putting turn off previews. That's where it's yeah. getting toggled. Is they're hitting that button accidentally mm -hmm. when they're floating through those. Yeah. Well, the temporarily, I I, do you have to go back in and re turn it on, or does it no, just stay off? When you, when you refresh the page, it'll come back on again. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> I I use it quite a lot, so. <laughs> no. Uh, often. Yeah. That was one of my favorite features on Wikitree when I joined. <laughs> the previews? Yeah. It that's, is. That's, it is. Yeah. It's something you, you, you can't do on the other. True. So this person has a mother that hasn't been created yet. Uh, yes. Yes. I was going to. Well, we're sort of out of time. Okay. But, but uh, well, if everybody would like to stay for another five minutes, I'll create her. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm going, going to go into edit mode and then go over here on the left to edit family. So um, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to, um, wait a minute. <clears throat> it's his, it's his wife. Yeah. Okay, all right, we're good. Um, so I'm going to add. Okay. Um, start with creating a new profile. Um, I, I don't think so. Uh, it said he was four and he had a mother. In his, that That's a mother, not a spouse. Wait a minute. Go back and double check, please. Yep. Because Henry, mm -hmm. let's see, go look in the text really quick. Um, yeah. Henry, age 11, um, was the son of Barbara Schubel. Right. I'm creating Mother's a as well. I'm, no, he's the son of Barbara. Barbara doesn't have a profile yet. But he also married somebody, and that's not on there either. Yeah, I'm creating his spouse. Okay, so you're going to create Annie Beer then? Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. Sorry <laughs> for the confusion. Okay. <laughs> so Annie Beer. Easy, or, easy for me to get lost in the branches. So Okay, so now um, I'm back over on my edit tab. Yes, his spouse. Create a new profile. Um, I've done my homework, so Anna, last name at birth, beer, um, married name, Shubna, birth date, um, 18th of July, 1868. Wait, wait, stop, 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 back up, back up. Change that J-U-L into just J. Go ahead, do it. Okay. Okay, now tab. Tab. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, never mind. You're not using the browser extension. Sorry. Go ahead. Put J U L in. I was going to show okay. you something, but okay, right. Something um, new. I don't I, know about. I saw <laughs> that. I, I saw that Cindy put in the chat, um, seeing if we do something at the intermediate level, and I think that would be a great place to to do uh, browser extension sort of stuff. Okay, so that is certain. Uh, she was born in. Um. I have a marriage location. Well, she was born in, I, I think I can get a more. Clark County, uh, Indiana. I think I can get more specific than that, but. Um, All right, there it is. Hello, Ohio. But, but yeah, generally we wouldn't put county in. It would just say Clark and then Indiana. Mm -hmm. um, so the county should be applied to anything that's a city, town, or village. Yep. Um. Death date, 19 December, 1942, certain um, in Louisville, Kentucky. Just across the river from Clark County, Indiana. Mm hmm It's in County, yeah. Certain. And uh, uh, before you do that, uh, her preferred name appears to be Annie, right? So should we right. add that? Yeah, good, good call. Um, now, if she does have a middle name, and there's a, there will be an opportunity to add that later. Okay, okay. so now we continue. Oh, oh, wow. Uh oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. I see these are not matches. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of these, so it's coming up with beer as in the beverage. Okay. Which beer in certain spellings is mm-hmm. also True. beer. True. In German B I E R. I don't think I've ever seen this many potential matches. One of all these berries. Yeah. yeah if you could, if you had the browser thing on, you probably could have selected it um, to just do it by location and it would have cut mm-hmm. a lot of them out. Right. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That's very helpful. I have a lot of youngs. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It's, the right. is, that is Smith. But... Worked nicely for um, that. That's <laughs> just me. Um, now, um, I I am confident that these aren't um, the same person. Um, if any of them were like really close, like in a BIR, but I could see like, oh, she's in a different state. So I know it's a different person. Um, you could set a rejected match to, to really show that I examine this. I'm really sure this is not the same person. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to say none of these are a match. Um, would that have, have stroked out all of them, all of those matches? It would have said they were all rejected? Well, they are, but some some of them were, were quite far-fetched. Um, mm. You know, buried here. Um, I mean, right. it's, it's good that the system highlights them. But So we, we don't want that entire list to show up at the bottom of that profile. So if we actually selected them all as rejected matches, they would all show up at the bottom of that profile. And mm-hmm. they're not even applying. So we really only want to highlight the, like, the rejected matches that are close to prevent people from creating duplicates, you know, and oh, showing that yeah, this is a different person. That so sense. that way the, the list goes away once the system already confirmed that it's not, you know, matching any of that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, I made that mistake by highlighting like 25 people. And then I'm like, wait, what are all these people doing down here? (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Um, So now since there is a child, um, I can click this because she is the mother. Um, Elizabeth is the, uh, the child of Anna. Um, And I am going to use, as you can see that um, they, well, the marriage date. I'm, that's going to be my source to create her, since that's how I'm linking her in. And so she was married January 7th, 1891, certain uh, Jefferson. Yes, Jefferson I'll be down in a few minutes. Oh, Jeffersonville in Jefferson County. Jeffersonville, no, in Indiana. Clark County. There okay, there Jefferson it is. Township. Mm-hmm. Certain. Uh, because in 1891, uh, it might have been a township. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this blank. They were not divorced, and one spouse died. Um, um, he died before she did. Um, so you can leave that. Now here's where. Uh, are you seeing me on Family Search now? Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So I am going to take. Uh, there, this one, because it has an image. Um, so That's again, it. I'm going to go to the web page, and there's my citation. Copy. I'm a weirdo. I I like making articles for the officiators too. You know what I found earlier this morning? This is so cool. Yeah. In, um, in the 1880 census. Um, this priest was living next door to her family. Oh, wow. So there's the connection. I know. Um, Okay, now I go back to her profile. I just copy that in. Boom. Uh, There's nothing to explain, really. It's it's a marriage. Put in a bullet? Um, Well, we'll do it automatically. Are you sure? (laughs) Okay, create the profile. There she I can add in her middle name, Marie. Um, and Did she have any other last names at all? No. Or not, was it? Um, I can tweak the bio. Um, she married. Um, now, if I want to do... Oh, um, what was... Shubnell 13, right? Shubnell 13... Okay. Well, it should be on the sidebar too, right? Sure. 
True, true. She married. Now, if you want to hyperlink within a bio a profile, do two square brackets. Shove now. 13. Pipe. That's a vertical thing. Henry. Shove now. Close double brackets. I have a question about that. Yeah. So, so as long as you get the last name dash 13, correct, can you, like, if you put Hank Shubnell, it would yeah. still hyperlink to him, wouldn't it? It is. Basically. I'm finding it doesn't have to be exact, like if the middle initial doesn't have to be there. Or... Right. Right. Okay. Um, if you're talking about the left-hand side, it has to be identical to the name of the profile. But the uh, right the side can ID. vary. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that can be whatever information. Okay. Yeah, great. Yeah, don't put in Hank Shubnell 13 on the left because then it'll look for anybody with the last name of Hank Shubnell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it has and to have an underscore in it or something. There's the asterisk that create will create a bullet point. Now I've, what have I done? I've added a source. I improved the bio very slightly. I'm going to do a full save. I know. So why so slow? We're watching. What happened to your computer? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it didn't want you to save this profile. I know. And there's nothing I can do. Can I re refresh? Uh, no, no. Go ahead and open a new window. Oh, and oh wait a minute. Yeah. Try it again. There was an error saving your updates. Are we having problems? Oh, we. Hmm. This is unusual. Welcome to technology, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't always behave. It's possible that the server is doing something. Yeah. Right now, that's preventing it from working. Right. Okay. I'm going to leave that be. Um, the draft at least. Maybe that way you don't lose your information. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, um, if we did not get to your questions uh, today, you can reach me. I, I'm not going to. Uh, if Hillary and uh, Murray and Steve are open to questions, um, I'll let them put their user IDs. Yep, in the chat. Um, just go to our profiles and send us a private message, um, and or or reply to the G two G post. They're they're carrier pigeons. There are many ways to get to us. I have a whole flock. <laughs> I know it's at the very end. Yeah. Can I actually share my screen and ask a question? Sure. Let me make you a co-host. I ended up, I don't, I'm, I really enjoyed the session. I learned a lot. I am new to Wiki, so I don't know much. Last week, I got an email from somebody who is a project coordinator. Okay. And she had edited somebody who was, I, who I follow. So they sent me an email. Yep. She is a project coordinator for the Poland Europe genealogists mm -hmm. and Might have been Tina. It was the lady's name was or it was Sky S K Y E Skandala. Mm -hmm. And if I'm sending, if I'm sharing the right thing, there. So I want to go back and find the project the poland europe genealogist project she sent me a link i clicked on it i think i followed it or joined it mm -hmm. but i don't know how to get back there again what's the easiest way to get back there um, go under find go where go find right. yep find yes. and now go to projects and projects yep. yes yep Okay, and now scroll down. Actually, um, in the table of contents, you might see Poland. Mm -hmm. Your screen, screen's really tiny. So Poland is number 25. So there's Poland. Yep. Okay. And there's skies. And uh, there it is right there. Right there. Yeah. So that would be the project 
Yes, that would be uh, the community of wiki treers that are um, actively researching uh, Polish roots and branches. Dying to know. So it's actually the slide. I see. Right, that's going to go to the G2G. So if you want to take a step back and go to the actual page for Poland Project, so you just click on the word Poland for that. Where is that? Go back, uh, go go back, back to that. the previous page. Yes. And then uh, at the very top, there is this Poland. Go ahead and that one. That. that one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. And <laughs> thus, Project Poland. Uh, okay. The Tommy. Okay, that helps. The second find it again. Good, yeah. You can... you, you go ahead and bookmark it and everything. You know you'll be coming back to I, it. I, I thought I had bookmarked it. How do I find my bookmarks to go there? Well, the little star at the top of your browser, you know, allow you to bookmark it. And then uh, one of the little buttons, the, the three dot button will allow you to go straight into bookmarks too. Um, so wait, so slow down a sec. Where? How do, oh, sorry. This is not star. a wiki tree. This is your actual browser. So where you have your URL header field, go to the very far right hand side of that. Oh, okay. So you're saying bookmark it star. in the browser. Yeah, Ooh, the browser, the right? Nope. Like no, go back to the Go back to the edge of the URL button. You see that next to the other buttons? Like or there's a star? Keep going. Oh, keep that going. star. There, there we go. Yes. Yep, that's your bookmark. Oh, okay. Now and... it's in your bookmarks folder. Okay, that makes sense. And so on Wikitree, I thought I had tagged this. Um, I, go to I your profile. Help. So... Yep. I, up just there. Click, click. Okay. Yes. Okay, and let's see. Are you fo It says following, and does it say Poland or? I see Poland yeah, underscore here as a tag. Yes. So, is that where I in the future is probably the easiest way to find it again? Well, that's where you're going to get. You're going to jump to see this list. Okay. Right, and if you if you click on the see where it says pe fifty people are following Poland Europe. Yes. Click on that. The following or the Poland Europe. That one. Okay. I thought that was going to take you to there. There you go. G to G activity. Mm -hmm. So now you can okay. find out things that people are, you know, what are people talking about? What and, are people researching? And how do we get back to that Poland Europe page that had the flag and it had the, the information we were just looking at? We just okay. bookmarked from here. And that you can type in project and then colon Poland. So any project pages should start with project and then the name of the project. What if I... I mean, it sounds terrible, but what if I didn't remember if it was Poland, Europe, or Euroland, Poland, or Project Poland? Or uh, you can what? search. Uh, go to find at the very uh, top right hand side of WikiTree. Okay, there. So you go to that and go to search, or even go to projects. Actually, you can drop down. And there's projects links right there. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah. There's the page you were on previously. But so I want to go. I like I like I said. I don't necessarily know if I if the name of the project is Europe, Poland, or Poland, Europe, or Poland, okay. or Poland. So then, I follow, I'm uh, following this, though. I should be able to find off my profile because right. I'm following you can it, right? Always, you can always search Wikitree for the find function. You can simply search for the text, and it'll pull up a list of pages that are using that text. So find will then have a search within that. Um, so will go back to find. So under find, yes. Under mm -hmm. find, drop down, and then see how search is bolded? Yes. Yep. Right. Now, oops. <laughs> Yep. There we go. And search. now that'll open up your search page. And at the bottom is where you'd search for things within pages. At the top is for actual profiles. Uh, but you say so use Google to search all Wikitree pages. You can type in Poland and then you can hit go. And that would show you all the pages that Google is indexing from Wikitree that have mm -hmm. Poland on it. The first one should be, well, those are, those are ads. But there's Poland Project, the first actual yeah. listing. That one? Yeah, that's the page. Yeah, yeah there it is. So quick, uh, easy way to find something you're looking for. So, Paul, okay. Paul, one more suggestion for you. Um, yeah, please. Take some time to uh, to take a look at the help page for the web browser extension. Yeah, I got that. I have that right there. That one, that's really helpful. You will that was, find this one right all there? kinds of things that you can use in there to help you. Uh, in particular, there's something called My Menu. And so if, if there are links that you want to, um, you know, always have handy, okay. you can add them to my menu, and then they're just always there. That would be very helpful. Yeah, I am new to Wikitree, and it is overwhelming. So I use a lot of extensions. 
on the outside of the world. But at Wikitree, I know they will be helpful, but I think it's just too overwhelming right now to start adding on extensions. I, my, my, my recommendation, Paul, is start with Sorcerer. That's, an, that's a very powerful little extension, and it's sort of and targeted. And yeah. How would I find Sorcerer, Sorcerer off of this list right here? Uh, it's a different page. Go where? Yeah, they're two different apps. Oh, okay. I thought if, it was a, if, it's if not a browser at, extension. It is. It is. It is an extension. If you look in your chat, you will find that I left links for the Wikitree browser extension. And I also left the link for the Wikitree sourcer. There it is again. I just put it in again. Oops. Right. But they are two separate things, right? Sourcer is oh. not integrated into browser extension, correct? Or is that the case now? No, they are, so, they are separate. They are separate, right? There we go. Okay, yes, I have the link to Sourcer. And do I, I'm going to share my screen. Oops. So I just need to, I, I have the link to Sourcer. I probably should be able to add it in myself. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you're bet. welcome. Well, again, any other questions where our doors are open? Yes. Yes, and um, you, we love repeat, return um, participants. So please come again next month and um, just follow new members in, in your tags. Uh, I'm putting it in the chat and that way you'll get um, an, the announcement through G2G of when Thank the you. generations are. This was very helpful. I was going to try to attend last one, but I had a commitment, so I wasn't able to attend la uh, last week. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paul. Bye. 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 Bye.